Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with the Hunkins, Brenda and Terry. They uh, founded the Martin Center how many years ago now? 2011 is when we uh, first went down there. Yeah. So six years. Yeah. And yeah. we need to say it's operated so impeccably. You're in the black. You're we are. doing great. <laughs> no, right? Um, but uh, always want people to have an opportunity to participate in something like this. Well, you know, it's pretty glamorous to pay for this kid to go to college or that kid to do this or that kid to do that. But that's all well and good. But if we don't have the lights on and we don't have the heat in the building and we don't have, you know, food for them to eat and stuff like that, it's all for nothing. Mm -hmm. So we do. We need some help, especially at this time of the year, because our heating bills, um, you know, our gas bills run anywhere from forty five hundred to fifty five hundred dollars a say, month. Say that again, because that's it's hard to get our minds wrapped around that. Yeah. How much a month? Forty five hundred dollars to fifty five hundred dollars and higher. If it, if what they say is true and we're going to have a bad winter, then, you know, wow. So and I know you've done everything you can as far as windows and so forth, what you can we've, do to keep that as low as possible. We've done a lot. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, as we were going to the break, Mm -hmm. we were talking about ways in which lives have been changed. You know what? And you led me right into that because we were talking about that today at the Martin Center. Um, There's one boy that um, started coming the very first weekend, practically, that we were there. Him and his brother and their friends. There was about six of these youth that that they they knocked on the door when they saw us over there. And they go... Um, can we come in and play basketball? Mm. And it's like, yeah, I've seen where you're playing. You're playing on the streets. Yeah. yeah, you can come in and play. And they would come in and play while we were doing stuff, painting or doing whatever. And then they'd help us a little bit, you know, and then they'd go play a little bit and stuff. One of those boys, and I won't name him, but um, Brenda was particularly leery of this kid. He's got a. He's got a. She's the practical one. Because she's the practical (laughs) one. Yes, Um, and you know, he's just a loud kid, and he was rather obnoxious and stuff. But he was in his late middle school years. That was six years ago. Fast forward today, that guy is one of our leaders. Wow! But he is working at Hilshire Clark, Mm. which is the big electrical contractor. Yes. A great company to work for, okay? He's serving an internship with them, to, and he will learn how to be an electrician. He goes to work every day. He drives a car. And I heard today that he's actually moving out of his house because his words were, I want to be a young man that takes care of my business. Wow. I'm not asking anybody to help me anymore. I'm not... I want to be the man that you guys are. Wow. So you're really, wow. Yeah. So right? you're teaching people self-reliance. Trying um, to. And sure. they're getting jobs, legal jobs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's good that you pointed that okay. out. Yeah. Okay. But, but now that's that's a hard thing. You know, when you say legal jobs, people have to understand that um, we have – another young man that has been a drug dealer for a long time. And at any time, he's got a handful of money in his pocket. Well, now he has given that up, and he has a legal job. But unfortunately, he doesn't have much of an education. Mm-hmm. So he probably makes maybe $9 an hour or mm-hmm. a little you know, minimum wage, whatever. And he is struggling. And so you know, he'll say, I, I could make more than this in a day you know, selling drugs. It is so hard. People just think, oh, you know, you tell them the right way, you tell them right from wrong. They can just give all this up and go on with their life and everything will be just fine. But that's a constant struggle to be pulled back into that world because it would be so much easier for him to support his family on what he makes selling drugs than it is to go work at a factory and go to work every day and... You know, the transportation and things like that. It's it's a whole lifestyle, you know, of sacrifice to do the right thing. But how admirable 
that absolutely he, oh, yeah, he knows sure. he could be making more money yes. illegally maybe because he is a father and he might have some kind of conscience that I wouldn't want anyone selling this stuff to my kids that might have something to do with it who knows but for whatever reason and for being around you guys I'm sure and the transformational experience that is the Martin Center He's made that sacrifice. He's making that sacrifice. Absolutely. What can we do for somebody like that, though? I mean, we really do want to get behind him and give him all the support we can to do it to do it right. Well, you don't want to, you know, we don't hand out money to enable people, but you want to be there for the advice. You want to be there mm-hmm. when they need it. You know, he has come up short just one time that I know of on his rent. His rent was, um, he was two months behind and he needed, I guess it's okay to say, he needed $900. Mm-hmm. He called Terry and he said, I am coming up short and I only have till 4 o'clock today. So I said, you know, okay, mm-hmm. how much? $25. He oh. was only asking for $25. Oh. He That's had a huge step together. right there. That's huge. Oh, That's huge. Now, he knows, especially this particular kid knows that I am very soft-hearted where he's concerned. He could have asked for two, three hundred dollars, and we'd have found a way to make it happen. Mm-hmm. But all he had to have was twenty-five dollars. So he pulled all the rest of it together yes, on his own. He did. That is awesome. You mentioned something a minute ago about you know we may send some to college. You've sent some of these young people to college. We've got about five kids that that are in college wow. now. Not, I mean, we're not paying for it or any, right. anything like that. But we're encouraging them. We're helping them find. We're trying to connect them with people that can help them get furniture and get all the stuff that they need. And, and find all the I mean, aid you need. You know, so, yeah, I mean, we consider those kids our kids, and yes. they're trying. Um, what about all, the, you know, just filling out the FAFSA form and all those <laughs> kinds of things and just taking the exams, you know, that you need to right. take and all of that. Do we, we find so that kind of help? people that have partnered with us. Um You know, Coach Q, who used to be, uh, I think, the trainer for McKinley, he's he's worked with some of the kids on, you know, kicking them in the pants to do their ACTs and things Mm -hmm. like that. We partner with Pathway Caring for Children. Um, Jason is their staff member who is down there. When we say we, it's not Terry, it's not me, it's a whole group of people. We say we as the Martin Center. Um, there's just so many leaders that have stepped up to, you know, do the different steps. But, mm-hmm. you know, like Jason with Pathway, he's there usually at least three nights a week. And if the kids, you know, he checks with their teachers. He checks on them. If they need help with their homework, you know, make sure they get a tutor if they need it. But just helping, you know, all right, it's time now. You know, it's past October. Where are you going to go to college? I'm going to go somewhere. Well, you better be Mm -hmm. getting on that. Mm -hmm. So we have people like that. We have so many different partners that come in and help. And, you know, we couldn't, definitely couldn't do it ourselves. So education is very key. Yes, absolutely. Um, And you said we don't preach Jesus. We are his hands and feet. But. Tell me, have any of these young people found Jesus through Absolutely. your actions? Absolutely. You know, the one that he was talking about, um, and, and I did. I followed this young man around his first few days when he was playing basketball. It was fine. But then, you know, he would he carried his backpack. He never looks you in the eye. He does now, but he didn't look you in the eye. He mumbled. I couldn't even tell what his name was at first. And, you know, he just kind of sleek around and... When I finally realized that he was getting it is after he had helped paint one day. And actually, he helped carry 65, 55-gallon buckets of tar from one end of the building to the other and up three flights of stairs wow. and up a ladder let to me, do the new tar on the roof. Let me just, in case somebody heard what you just said and took that for granted, you said 55-gallon buckets up the stairs. Three flight. There were five gallon buckets. There. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, okay. Just five to... gallon bucket. Sixty five. Five gallon. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Up the steps. Still Sorry. heavy. Still heavy. And it's a yeah. long way to go. Yeah. And a long way to go. A lot of work. Then up the ladder. Wow. And help spread it on the roof on a very hot day. A week or so later, he was in the gym playing, and I heard him yelling at some girl. 
And so I come around the corner, and she, he's like, what are you doing with that magic marker? And she said, none of your business. And she was walking in the bathroom. He blocked the door, took that magic marker away from her, and said, you are not going to write on those walls in there. So Not when we, I've worked so hard <laughs> painting them. <laughs> and, and that's been a great part of them mm-hmm. taking ownership. Yes. And, you know, they there's just so much. One of the things that volunteers will say that they're shocked at is how respectful the kids are that's when they right. come through the line getting their food. I mean, you know you've done it firsthand. So respectful. So Thank polite. You. And, I mean, there's always, a you know, somebody acting up and stuff. But for the most part, the majority of the kids are so appreciative and once the volunteers are not afraid to look them in the eye and speak to them and stuff, I mean, they'll actually talk to them oh, and, yeah. you know, get to know them. Very but, nice kids. you know, the, the boy we were talking about, you know, he ended up, he has actually led, we have a devotion time each night um, after they play basketball or play in the game room, whatever. Then they'll have about a 15, 20 minute devotion time. They eat and we'll talk about their meals later, but they're very good. And then um, they go back to play in basketball or back in the game room, workout room, whatever. But he has actually led those devotions wow. on a couple occasions Isn't during cool? Thursday that's night so leagues. Cool. Yes. And that's hard because he's talking to his peers. It's <clears throat> one thing to, you know, speak to strangers. It's another to stand in front of your peers that you've been playing basketball with that have grown up with you and, you know, and basically preach a lifestyle that they don't have yes. any clue about. Right. And this is all brand new. Yeah. It's very foreign to them. Well, it, it just, it's a movie, you guys. This is absolutely a movie. It's <laughs> do you know amazing. Anybody that we, could maybe we, shoot we that? need to do that. We need to <laughs> get on Warner Brothers and make this happen. Anyway, uh, you're having a dinner. Let's get everybody there. Um, you're having a dinner at Hartville Kitchen. On is that a Saturday, December sixteenth? December sixteenth. Okay, and six o'clock. And uh, so, how much does this cost to go to? It does not cost. It's been very generously. Say that again. What? The meal has been underwritten by a generous donor. And so, so totally free. Totally free. So, if if you don't if you don't care about anything that we've talked about, <laughs> and you want a free meal at the Harville Kitchen. You can get it. December 16th. But that's the cool thing is people that have an interest in what we're doing, people that want to hear more about what we're doing and stuff, those are the people that we want to come. Mm -hmm. Not because we want to shake you down for money or anything like that. Because I told somebody once, I don't want your money. Mm -hmm. I want your heart. Yes. Because if I get your heart, everything else follows. Everything else will follow. Well, that's right. Because... It's always what's it, what is in your hand. If it's time that you happen to mm-hmm. have, then we can use the time we can definitely and use the time. volunteering. If it's somebody that w- likes to cook or would like to maybe make one meal a month or get their Bible study or Sunday school class or office together and make a meal a month, you would accept that, yes? Yeah, there's a lady now that, that said, who can I partner with to supply a meal? Well, okay, good. There you go. We got you. And that's and just to be able to hear, you know, to meet Terry and Brenda for one thing, and to hear the stories. Will Corey be there? Yes, he's there some. Yeah. Corey Hunka yeah. will be there Corey at, on should, Saturday night. Corey Hunka should yes, be, be there. there. Garrett yes, be should there. be there. We're yeah. hoping Nate will be there. So um, all Darryl these, Owens all the impl- all the players yes. are going. All to be, the players will <laughs> are be there. Be That's there. what we are yeah. working on, and that would be awesome. And to be able to hear these stories firsthand. Yes. And to be able to, if you feel a little tug at your heart, to be involved in some way at the Martin Center. We're not asking you to go down to uh, Third Street Southeast. We're asking you to come to Hartville Kitchen and just hear the stories and then see what God tells you to do. Totally free. Totally free. Totally yep. free. But How bring your you, checkbook because we would appreciate any donations. Well, we need people to make reservations, yes? We do, by December 9th. And for reservations, just email your name and the name of your guest or guests to martincenter.events at gmail.com. That's martincenter.events at gmail.com. Is there you a can number call. to call? Yeah, you can call Give us, us that number. Yeah, it's 330-854-2227. That's Please give that again. 330-854-2227, and we'll get you on the list there. Awesome. So the main purpose of this is to introduce new donors to thank current 
donors and past donors and also to introduce you to other volunteering opportunities. We talk about food. You know, we feed the kids Monday through Thursday. But also the school feeds the kids Monday through Friday. Mm. And they could always use somebody to help with meals during the day for the school. So maybe there's somebody that could do that. You know, so there'll be lots of opportunities presented. Awesome. Brenda, Terry Hanka, thanks so much for what you do in our community. 